Our next presenter is Academy Award nominated Edward James Olmos, a, a longtime collaborator of our Artur Award recipient, Mr. Robert M. Young. Dios los bendiga. Es un honor y un placer estar aquí con todos ustedes. For those of you that are Spanish impaired, don't worry. We live in an English only country, don't worry. Ladies and gentlemen, I am emotionally moved to the point of tears. Why? Because watching Bob Young work his belief in placing the camera where the story is and allowing the story and the situation to breathe and become life has been an extraordinary artistic event for me over the last 40 years. This is an amazing, amazing genius who, like Tesla, will probably not be recognized until another hundred years. When you see his work, and you've seen a lot of it already, but his work is beyond understanding. Adolf Zucker asked him to make his first film when he was 15, in his 30s, 1930s. <laughs> he is 91 years young. And uh, we're in the midst of creating his next film. It's been an extraordinary experience because this man has documented and understood the behavior, the human behavior, whether it be in fact in fiction, and has made it so incredibly poignant that it's become timeless. When you see the things that he's done right now, many of you don't know who he is. Many of you do. He's mesmerizing. When you meet him, you will understand. He suffered a stroke two years ago. Left catatonic, unable to do anything. Couldn't even move his eyes. When you see him today, you'll understand the strength of humanity that lives inside of him and the understanding of who he is and what he does with his life. Over the last 40 years, it's been an honor and a privilege to live my life alongside of him. I thank his wife and his children, especially his wife, for putting up with us. <laughs> uh, together, we're like, oh my God, very difficult to take. But I will say that Lily Young deserves our most unbelievable amount of gratitude. Standing with him and us for so many years. Ladies and gentlemen, please take a look at the screen and just a little bit of what I've been trying to understand all my life. I live by what my fictional hero, Don Quixote, said. I know who I am and who I may be if I choose. I wanted to experience the wonders of the world, to have adventures to live and understand living with other people, to fight against wrong, to protect the weak, to help give them their own voices. That's why I became a filmmaker. I just lose myself in what is in the moment. And I find that that's why I enjoy the, the shooting process. It's the moment when you're doing something that's connecting you to what you're about. Uh, that, that I'm most alive. And it seems to me that when it happened, that all of us wanted to be hit. This was an experience that we needed to keep our movement going. I made contact with the rebels, and I walked behind the Portuguese lines in Africa. And it was very, very strong. I saw massacres, and I saw a lot of things that had happened. And uh, I had a very uh, strong identification with those people who were struggling, you know, for their, for their freedom, for their lives. And it's so sad. I mean, those same things are going on today. No matter how poor 
people can be. I mean, they have, they do have their pride, and they have, they need, uh, they need respect. I think it's like giving respect to what's there, to be able to see it, look at it clearly. And I think it's with affection, too. And I find the face is the most interesting thing of anything I've ever photographed. When I lived with Eskimos, I had such a tremendous admiration for them. They were so powerful. I wanted to help capture and preserve some of the culture of these people because I think they're fantastic. The record of these people that they existed, you know, that they were there. What are we going to do next time? We're going to have a nice long chat in the parlor? No. On the porch. Oh, yeah. And then what? What? Well, either we're going to hit the hay or get married. Now, you don't want to hit the hay, and I don't want to get married. You have some very primitive ideas, don't you? If I'm filming people, uh, I move. I don't tell people, I want you to stand here now. And, oh, no, move a little bit over now. You sit here. I don't like to do that. I mean, I find the, the situation, and then I move to find the place. I feel the whole frame. I feel it more than I... I see it, but I don't look at it. It's a funny kind of thing. I get emotionally involved with what I see and the people. And he hit you. And he hit you. And I've hated him every day of my life for what he did to you. And I'm afraid that I'm just like him. Metu Chayori You make a film, at least you're preserving some moment in time. That I think uh, hopefully will raise people's consciousness, awareness. If I live, I'll find you. There's a homeless shelter about two blocks down. Homeless shelter? He'll get knives and raped, Joe. What do you want to do, take him home with us? <laughs> Put the camera where the story is. So I have to ask myself constantly the question, moment by moment, where is the story? It's for a great honor that I present to you, Mr. Ronald something now though, for a moment because of my wife has kept me alive she directed me we, we, we 
placed in a lot of places in, in Africa for a year and a half, and in and, and Borneo, lots of places. I sorry, forgive me for talking like this because because this uh, stroke and everything. And I just now finished a new script, which I hope that we're going to make. I'm 91. It's a little bit, you know, sh shaving, but, but I'm still going to. But, but then I have to say, my dad, my dad was uh, only I died in 1960. My dad was a cameraman. And then he then he is an editor, and he formed a Duart Film Laboratory, and uh, and I uh, so I as, as Eddie said, my first job actually make it more than it was. Uh, uh, somebody said this kid could film, and so I was the president of president of a Paramount was Adolf Zucker, so I got seventy five dollars for this film I made. <laughs> I was 15. So that was my beginning, my, my uh, beginning to all of this stuff. Anyway, I've been very grateful because I've been helped by many people. Actually, uh, even the guy who made uh, Ding Kong was uh, made by my first script, picked it up and became uh, like a son of mine, Marion Cooper. And so there were a lot of great people who were before and I'm so grateful that I've had been in this in of this world. Uh, except the business part is very really difficult for me. I don't understand it. I'm making films and they able to be able to do this. So thank you so much. And from Marina, I have trouble making names, please. But uh, thanks for being thinking of this. But anyway, thank you so much. Uh, there's a lot of us here, there's a lot of us here that really would like to say thank you to you. They are. Yeah, Davidson is here. Bruce, come on up. Maria, come on up. Ari, come on up. Steven Jew, please come up. Come on up. This is the, uh, the very thing for him, but it's put our lives with him. Every one of us has spent many, many years. And we're about to start a new film in which he will direct us. Yes. I'll help him. We will direct together, and uh, it's called In the Little Spanish Town, and it's the most yeah, unbelievable story I've ever written. My kids are still making filmmakers, filmmakers. One of my kids has already nine Emmy and an Academy. So we might, but thanks for my father, who told me that I should be a laboratory. So I went to MIT, actually, I was 16. And, but it turned out that I was colorblind, so I couldn't titrate. So, so everything, a lot of war and worth in, that I found in life is a lot of things that, are, that you don't expect. And some things that are bad turns out to be bad. And the best the documentary I ever made in my life was destroyed. Uh, I won't go on about it, but somebody <laughs> saved it and then took another film with my brother, with my son, and we made a uh, Kadavan Academy on it. Uh, we could make the destroyed it and they made copies of the piece. It's sub subversive. There's another thing, a part of uh, keep a little bit of subversive, keep it going. Like, I think Bernie. But anyway, forgive me. That was not right. <laughs>